this video, I'm going to do the separable differential equation. Uh, we got dy dt plus e to the t plus y equals zero. So why don't you uh, pause it and give it a try. I'm um, going to bring that exponent over by subtracting it. So we're going to have e to the negative t plus y, but it's negative. And then, uh, you know, using our exponent rules, uh, this is going to be, I just kind of think of this as negative 1 hanging out there. And then we're going to have e to the t times e to the y. So that's how we get towards our separation. So then we can separate our variables. We want to get them each to one side. So I'm going to bring the, uh, let's see, the. I'm just going to bring the e to the t. I'm going to leave the negative on the right. So we'll have uh, dy. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to bring the dt to the right and the e to the y to the left. And you got to divide it so it'll be on the denominator. And then I'm going to multiply the dt over to the right. So we'll have e, negative e to the t, dt. And now we have our variables separated. And then we can integrate both sides. And it's easier to, uh, to integrate when that e is in the numerator. So when you bring it up, that makes the exponent negative. And I usually bring out any negatives or any uh, constants out in the front of, of my integral sign whenever I can. And then we can integrate that. So this is where we got to be careful with our negatives because uh, the integral of that, actually, that negative 1 has to come down. Whenever there's something in front of that exponent, it goes down to the denominator. And then, uh, yeah, there's a plus c there, but I usually just group them on one side. And then this is going to be e to the negative t, or negative e to the t plus c over here. And then we have a so we have negatives on both sides. So I'll uh, multiply by negative one to get rid of those negatives. And yeah, it would be minus c. But since it's a constant, we can just keep it as plus c. That's fine. And then we're solving for y. So we want to take the natural log of each side to get rid of those e's. Or to get rid of the e with the negative y. So we take the natural log absolute value. We have to do it to both sides. And that c has to stay within the natural log. So when you take a natural log of e, it cancels. But this one doesn't because it's uh, plus that constant. So you can't, can't really break those up with the natural log rules. <clears throat> so that gives us negative y equals natural log e to the t plus c. And we still need our absolute values because if c were negative then even though this can't be negative that within the expression it could be negative so we need to keep those absolute values and then our final answer we're just going to multiply by negative one to get our y and our final answer is right there. Negative ln e to the t plus c. Alright, hope that helped you. 
and uh, good luck out there.